Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech, and in today's video, let's take a look at LG's new flagship, the LG G5. Nice packaging from LG showing off the modular aspect of the G5. Opening up the box, we have the G5 itself. Let's set that aside for now. Uh, we then have a quick start guide, a travel adapter, a USB Type C cable, a SIM ejector pin, and a pair of earphones. Sliding the G5 out of the protective plastic, this phone feels surprisingly sleek. The curve up top is a nice addition. The G5 is just 7.7mm thick and weighs in at under 160 grams. We've got a metal build and well yeah, I'm gonna call it metal. To the front, on top, we have an 8 megapixel shooter, sensors and a earpiece. Below that, we have a 5.3 inch Quad HD IPS LCD display that's covered by Gorilla Glass 4 and at the bottom, we have the LG branding. To the back, we have not one, but two cameras. More on that in a bit. We also have an LED flash and a laser assist for autofocus. That's followed by the power key that also happens to double as a fingerprint scanner. Note that you just have to rest your finger against this key to scan your fingerprint and unlock the G5. And okay, enough of the regular stuff, that's not what you're here for. Let's actually get to what makes this phone cool. The small button right here to the bottom left, press it. Wiggle and pull and there you go, the bottom comes off. You can now swap batteries and LG will also be selling swappable modules that add a level of, well, modularity to the G5. Barring that button, we also have volume rockers to the left. At the bottom, we have the primary microphone, a USB Type-C port, and a speaker. Up top, we've got the secondary noise cancelling microphone, a 3.5mm headphone jack, and an IR blaster. To the right, we have a tray. Here's where you can add either two SIM cards or a SIM and a microSD card. Now, underneath the hood, the G5 is powered by the Snapdragon 820 chip containing two sets of cryo cores clocked at 2.15 and 1.6 GHz each, coupled with an Adreno 530 GPU and 4 GB of RAM. You also get 32 GB of onboard storage, and the battery we saw, well, that's a 2800 mAh battery. Out of the box, the G5 runs on Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow with LG's custom UI on top. The UI has received a bit of a revamp. The app drawer that LG initially removed has been added back via an update, so that's good. And the UI is much leaner this time around, there's not a lot of bloat, the camera interface is quite clean as always, the icons up top, well, they let you switch between both the rear cameras. There's a 16 megapixel camera with an aperture of f by 1.8, and there's another that's an 8 megapixel sensor with an aperture of f by 2.4. There is optical image stabilization, and I'm not sure if both cameras have it or just the primary one does. We'll clear that up in the full review. The camera UI looks decent, there is a pro mode included, but for some reason LG has removed the manual pro mode. That's disappointing. So anyway guys, I did take this phone out of the box about 4 days back, but with all the launches that have been happening, I just got around to shooting this video now. The good news though, is that I've had my SIM card in this phone for 4 days, so I'm almost done testing it and I'll be reviewing it quite soon. And yeah, before we're done, a big shout out to our sponsor Slick Wraps. If you want to get a neat skin like this for your G5, check out slickwraps.com. They've got a lot of options when it comes to skins. I will leave a link to them in the description below. And now, as I move to my outro, I'm going to leave you with a bunch of images that we quickly shot with both cameras. If you do want to pick a LG G5 up, you can do that from 28mobile.com. That's where I bought my G5 from. I'll leave a direct link to them too in the description. I will also update the description and include Indian stores once the G5 is officially launched here. So I guess that's it for this video, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, vote it down if you didn't. For more videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. If you do want to help the channel out, do consider changing your Amazon or Flipkart URLs to one with an affiliate ID. Thanks for watching, till next time, this is Ash here from C4 Retech, signing off, you guys have a great day, bye bye now.